poetry. I am Dominique Plant, the uh, creator of this poetry extra poetry palooza. And as the leader here at Plant's Poetry, I have decided that Poetry Week this year will feature the release of my first poetry book, A Poetic Dance. Now, the book, A Poetic Dance, is a very personal and dear book to me. It has taken me, um, if you're going to be honest about all of the um, all of the different poems in there, it's going to take it's taken me three years to make this book. However, most of the poems are from this year, although some are from years you know, prior to this. So it's taken me three years to make this book. This book is very important to me, so I'm releasing it really as a testament of how well I can maneuver into this world and become a published, or well, published poet, not a published author yet, although I have author books available to read if you so desire. Enough shameless plugging, we're talking about this book. So, uh, the issue most poets confront is persuading people to read their work. To you, a potential reader, I would like to present a summary of this poetry collection that would hopefully persuade you to purchase and read all of the rhymes and rhythms contained within. A Poetic Dance is a compilation of 56 poems divided into four sections. Each segment focuses on a unique poetry challenge devised to demonstrate the others demonstrate to others how effectively one can draw with words and just words alone. Now, what do I mean by with words and with words alone? So, effectively speaking, I cannot draw. I am, um, it my art teachers always said that I am too technical and too the adamant that things must be perfect. And I'm trying to be less perfect. Like that bike, I'm not going to restart this to it to edit to get rid of the bike so we're gonna just run with it yeah so I'm trying so I can't be perfect I don't like to draw because I like when things are perfect and uh, so for instance when I was in art class what I used to do when asked to draw uh, a, a head I would go like this and then uh, and then I do this and then I do this and I go, and then that, that's an ear, by the way, and then we're gonna go like this. Yeah, so that was my attempt, and then you had a little nose, or I do this. And then those would be my drawings. And really, those aren't drawings, those are stick figures, poorly drawn stick figures as well. I have friends that could draw that better than I can. But, Simply put, I can't draw. So, but I can write poems. I find poetry rather simple. I can write a poem in 30 seconds or five minutes. I, it's, it's not very hard for me to write poems. Excuse my hands, I move them a lot. So, today in this video, I want to give a overview of the book and its different sections. I also want to give a overview of the different illustrations provided by my good friend Tyree. Um, and then I would also like to, I'm just looking at my schedule here, give you idea of the pricing and the promotion that we have going on in relation to the release of the book, hopefully in Poetry Week. I say hopefully because there are always moving parts that you must be aware of. So hopefully the book is going to be released on December 13th, 2021, but we are not yet certain because of moving parts but we're moving ahead of anything moving ahead anyways because it's important that you move on continuously even in the face of obstacles so the collection is referred to as a poetic dance because essentially the poet me is inviting you to dance with him through his poetry so i'm inviting you to dance with me through my poetry the poet will take you through a Cupid's tango where love poems will flush the minds of rage and awaken dying hearts. The poet will enter a themed waltz with you that comments on modern society and how man sees its, his reality. The poet will invite you to watch a colored ballet where you will see the rainbow and more 
tiptoe along stage floors. Finally, the poet will invite you and to join him in lettered leaps where alliterations may arch across your feet as you jump from leaf to leaf. And that was, so each section of the book has a funny name to it. I'll get into that later. So I promise you though, a poetic, a dance of poetry can often cause you to cry. But when you dance with my poetry, no sadness will lace your eyes. It will just be happy tears. So without further ado, uh, well, this is a proof copy, but this, this is how the book looks. It's a proof copy. That's why it says not for release. I had to order a proof copy to see if everything, because I formatted it myself. So this part here needs to fix, but I fixed it. That was the part that needs to fix it, the spine. But this is the cover of the book. Uh, then this is the back of the book. It's a six by nine book. It contains 91 pages, 56 poems. That's it. This is how the book on the inside looks. Uh, see? Poems are nicely laid out in the in, on the inside. Uh, so that's how the book looks. And don't worry, I'm going to, and it contains illustrations. So the first thing, this is actually the cover. So my friend Tariq, Tariq Art on Instagram, uh, yes, go follow him. He did the cover, well, he did all the illustrations. So this is the cover. And uh, I gave him the idea of like so the idea i don't i don't know if you're seeing hope you're seeing it properly so these two are dancing and then this guy in the background is writing it down so this guy is me really and then these two are dancing so these two are like poems and he's writing down how the poems are dancing along the floor that's one interpretation you could take another interpretation you could go with is that this is, this is the poet, this is the poet, this is you, or this is the poet and this is you. And then th this guy in the background is writing down how you guys are dancing. But this is the cover. It's supposed to be someone watching you from the corner is writing a poem about the way you dance. So that's, that's essentially why it's called It Would Dance There. So lovely cover, love it. <laughs> The second, so now let's talk about the section of the book and I will also mention the different, um, different illustrations needed for this. Okay, so if you go to the back of the book, the appendix, you will see an explanation for each section of the book. So Cupid's Tango is the first section of the book. These are poems, these poems are written for women in, an, in the hopes of being love struck Hence the Cupid. These are on the surface level love poems, but as many. Wow. Wow. Okay, let us wait. Let us wait. Let us wait. Let us wait. Let us wait for it to pass. Cupid's Tango. This is the first section of the book. It, it, it comprises of 12 poems that, I think it's 12, yes, 12 poems that are written for women in the hopes that they will fall lovestruck, hence the, the word Cupid. Uh, so these are on the surface level love poems, but as many will tell you, I do not write love poems. I do not, I don't write love poems. These poems can be used to shoot your shot with a person, essentially. That means that, you know, these days, shooting your shot involves, you know, so at some point it was just throw a snowflake in someone's DMs. But these, you, but I prefer to write poetry when I'm shooting my shot. So these poems are mostly used to shoot my shot. Some of them were made up, but we'll get into that later. The effectiveness of using poems to shoot your shot is no greater than just sending a snowflake. At least that's what I have found in my in my experience. And the illustration for that section is this it's a Cupid. It's a black Cupid, actually. So not the not the usual white Cupid. I hope you like this illustration. So I don't really have any symbolism for this. It's just a beautiful cover. It's just a beautiful picture. I love this picture just represents everything that the section is about. The section is about Cupid. 
And if you know me, you know that I describe Cupid as a child. Anyways, let us move along. The next section of the book is called A Themed Waltz. These poems are written on the basis of six themes that I, that I took from a poetry challenge I did on my Instagram. Uh, Instagram, uh, at flat dot s underscore poetry. So this is a themed waltz. It's called A Theme. So we took six themes and we wrote six poems about them. So actually the, the, the section has seven poems in there. I believe, but it is six themes. I just broke up a theme into two. I don't remember which poem I broke into two, but I know that there are seven poems in this section now and not six. Yes. So, I have to change that in the edit. See, this is why you should read over your theme. Then the next, uh, these themes aim to sneak a peek at modern man's reality. From nature to love to gender wars, this section refers to the comment. So, so nature, love, gender wars, anything that I think is a theme of the modern man is in this section, seven of them anyways. This section serves to comment on those themes from an onlooker's perspective. I am the onlooker, okay? But you guys would enjoy those poems I hope. The next section, is a colored ballet. Uh, so, did you know that ballet is spelled B A L L E T? I was confused myself, but apparently it's French. I think I don't know which like, language it is, but it's not ballet, it's ballet. Uh, <laughs> these poems were written for a poetry challenge on my Instagram page again. This poetry challenge served to use colors to draw an image without actually using colors to draw an image. So, I took a color like blue, red, yellow, green, all those colors, and I drew a picture using poems. And I, I love this section, I love this section just almost as much as the love section. It probably did that and the love section are probably just close together. And then you have the final section of the book which contains the most poems, the lettered leaf section. So this is, these poems were penned for a poetry challenge again on my Instagram which I paid. I have a so I have a love for alliteration. Thus, I made a challenge out of it. How many alliterations can I fit in one poem for a specific letter? I didn't always succeed. Some of the poems are just named with a word that begins with the letter. Also, X is harder than Z. You'd think that X is easier than Z, but no. X is harder than Z because X has a bunch of xylo, xlo, xd. I can't even pronounce the words myself. And then you have Z. Uh, the, the Z poems are still hard to write, which is why all the Z poems in this book are actually about Zendaya. Yes, um, so if the, the Z poems are about Zendaya, but they're not titled Zendaya, but we'll get to that soon. So it's still a fun challenge. I 100% recommend. If you love alliteration, it's something you should try. And that is basically the sec. Oh, 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 I missed the, I missed the illustration. Okay, so this is the illustration. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Don't worry. This is the illustration for the theme section. The, 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 it, so this is the man. This is reading, essentially, he's reading, the, he's reading the theme reading the themes here and this is what he's thinking so you have a more uh, there's a poem on the theme of death and memories a poem on love a poem on nature which is why there's, there's a tree here then you have um yes so there are lots of different images in that top part and then this is the illustration for the section written on colors you see the man is here looking over onto the rainbow preparing to write it's a very beautiful scene which speaks to the imagery that protrudes through this section so lots of imagery in the colored section for the lettered section this is also the back of the book the lettered section the man is putting away the books in his library essentially saying that the book is done but the, but he's also saying that i'm that i'm basically use the letters. So it's a library plus letters, you know, get it? No? Okay. You probably don't even get the puns. The, the puns are the fun part. So 
that is basically everything that is inside the book and every description of the book and such things. I'm trying to stick to my schedule here. Oh, okay. So, pricing and where you can get it. Okay. So this is the part where everyone runs away from the video because no, everyone likes free poetry. But I have, uh, I believe that this is worth seven million. So the full price of the book. This is the, the full price. Listen carefully, no, no. Are you listening? Let me get close to you. The full price of the book is ten dollars. Oh, do, 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 do. ten U.S. dollars. That's the full price of the book. Ten, 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 ten. However, from the release date, which is December thirteenth, if everything goes well, from the release date, December thirteenth, up to January thirteenth. You know, from the release date up to January thirteenth. That's one month. For one month. Of the release, the price of the book will be seven dollars. Seven, seven, seven and seven. So for the full price is ten. But if you get the book upon its release for a month, you can get it at seven dollars. Isn't that a, that's 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 a steal? That's a steal. Come on, think about it. That's a steal. All right. So finally, you can get the book on Amazon. It is available in all countries that have signed the Bernie Convention for Copyright because I don't own worldwide copyright, so uh, you'd have to look at the list of those countries, but it is available in the major markets of the United States, United Kingdom, and Jamaica, obviously, because I'm Jamaican. <laughs> um, I just do not, I'm, I, I seem to be speaking in English because of the camera, <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, I'm not really speaking, that's a joke because people just a joke. So yes, so the book can be gotten on Amazon.com in countries that have signed on to the Bernie Convention, which is a copyright law, you know, because I don't have worldwide copyrights, I have to, I have to set, I have to separate countries, you know. So that is essentially everything you need to know about a poetic dance. The, oh, the, yeah, essentially, that's everything you need to know about it. The cover is going to change a bit when you get it, but there won't be that many changes. But this is it. This is what you should look for, look out for. Thank you. So, and that will be our overview video. But, stay tuned. We have more videos coming this week.